couple of weeks ago, I gave you the first chapter of the history of the Vandevert family. William and Sadie and their eight kids were some of the first Western European families to settle in what is now Bend. Well, this week, I bring you a historical pot of gold. You see, back in 1953, our news partners KBND did a series of interviews for the 50th anniversary of Bend with several of Bend's early pioneers. The host was Kessler Cannon, and he brought us amazing chapters of oral history straight from the people who experienced it. And little did I know, Kessler actually did an interview with one of Bill's sons named T.W., who gives us a first-hand account of what it was like in the frontier in Central Oregon. Join me as we go back in time. June 3, 1953. Welcome again to a quarter hour of history. Our guest today is T.W. Vandevert, one of the best known families in all of Central Oregon. And we came there in 1892 to the Vandevert Ranch, and it's been the home ever since. Came through the Dells to Prineville. And then we first stopped over winter in Powell Buttes. The family had one wagon, and I rode a pony. As we knew it then, Farewell Bend was commenced at the Sizemore place and took in the entire bend of the Deschutes River. That ranch that you went on to, do you recall how much the family had to pay for that property? I, about $600, including all the tools and which included a blacksmith shop and carpenter, complete carpenter tools. Now some of those tools probably were ones that were used in the erection of the first home in Bend, Mr. Drake's home. Yes, my father loaned the broad axe that hewed the logs for Drake's home. What about your schooling? Well, we had a school up at the home place, which was where the community schoolhouse stood. And my sister and brother Dr. Vanderbilt and my sister Maud and myself, three of us rode one pony, and we were the only pupils that first year in 1892 that attended the school. You also a moment ago were recalling uh, some events in regard to the building that Hugh O'Kane put up on the what is now the corner of Bond and Oregon in Bend. Yes, Mr. O'Kane put up a building there, uh, and uh, he had a hotel and a bar room. What did Bend look like in those early days, uh, about the time that uh, Drake was finishing his buildings down on the river? Well, that was the, uh, it just like any other uh, timbered country with a crooked wagon road and rocks going through it. It didn't anything remind you of, of any farmland or town or anything at that time. There was nothing to, to look forward to to have it a, a town at that time. During all these years, you've seen the town change considerably then. You've well, seen all these changes. Yes, you might say from a few little log cabins to the present town of Bend today. I've seen the whole change. I've seen the timber go. I've seen the highways come and the railroad come. And uh, we've seen the whole country change from what you might say a wilderness, but a very beautiful wilderness, if you might call it that, to the present town day. For Central Oregon Daily News, I'm Scott Elness.